Now that we've practiced building some different types of pivot charts, let's take a minute to talk about some of the design options available to us, specifically chart layouts and styles. So we can select one of our charts, in this case our column chart up at the top, and drill into our pivot chart tools design options. Now if you're relatively new to working with charts in Excel, you may want to start by exploring some of the standard layouts and styles that Excel offers. So for example, you can preview different quick layouts, which provide different preset combinations of basic chart elements like labels, legends, grid lines, axis titles, etc. You also have different types of color palettes available to you here. And finally, a selection of more comprehensive styles, which allow you to preview some additional formatting and styling options like fills, shadows, 3D effects. You can drill down to see more, uh, but some crazy stuff in here as well. Now, if you do know your way around a chart and aren't afraid to do a little customization, the options are literally quite endless. And personally, I start by incorporating any particular chart elements here on the left that I think will be valuable to the visualization. So anything from axis titles and data labels to grid lines. In general, I think axis titles are our best practice. So let's go ahead and select a primary vertical axis. And let's also add data labels outside the end of our columns. And press OK, and there we go. Now I can just give this axis title a name, in this case, number of titles. And there you go. So like I mentioned earlier, these charts can be formatted and customized exactly like normal charts in Excel. So I really can only begin to scratch the surface here without diving into my entire separate course on DataViz. But to give you the quick one minute intro to custom chart formatting, the key is to select any individual component of the chart and right click to launch the formatting options. So with data labels selected, you'll see an option at the bottom called format data labels. With the series selected, you'll see format data series. With the axis title selected, you'll see format axis title. It really doesn't matter how you get to that formatting pane. All of these will take you to the same general place. Now within this formatting pane, you have a drop down right beneath the title and that allows you to isolate or format any particular chart element. So right now we've selected the series. We can also look into options for formatting the plot area or options for formatting the legend. You can even format the field buttons themselves. And then within each of these areas, you've got tabs or panes with additional information uh, nested within them. So fill and line options, which kind of help you customize the uh, look and feel of the fill and border effects. You've got additional effects like shadows, glows, 3D formats, and then typically you'll have some series options, which in this case allow me to update uh, how these series overlap and what the gap between the columns looks like. And these options are dynamic, so they change depending on exactly what you're looking at. Sometimes you'll have more options, um, sometimes you'll have fewer. In this case, we have some size and properties options as well. So obviously we don't have time here to go into all of these different options. To be honest, there are thousands of different combinations of formatting tools and tricks you can use. Um, but the point is, if you want to become a master of building beautiful custom charts, step one is to get intimately familiar with this format pane. Step two, check out my course if you want to see some real next level examples of data viz in Excel. So we'll do quite a bit more formatting of these charts when we talk about building a dashboard towards the end of this chapter. But for now, that's your pivot chart design options 101.